On today's show, GM is hooking robots up to the internet. We'll tell you why. Despite all the negative publicity with diesels, more Americans are buying them. And rock a bye, baby. Here's a new solution to lull your baby to sleep. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the automotive industry. General Motors is using the cloud and applying big data analytics to get more uptime at its factories. It's connecting thousands of robots and plants to the cloud and analyzing data to pick up on trends that could cause downtime. By doing this, GM has avoided 100 line stoppages over the last two years. Some robot failures can take up to eight hours to fix and stopping an assembly line is extremely expensive. Depending on which kind of vehicle is made in the plant, it can cost anywhere from $1 million to $2 million an hour when the line stops running. The supplier company Delphi is making a big play in autonomy and connectivity. Delphi is positioning itself to be a lead supplier of the brains and the nervous system that go into cars. It is specifically carving out a dominant position in high-speed data transmission, connectivity, and data management. It just announced it's buying an Israeli company called Valens, a German company called Rosenberger, and it's forming a partnership with another Israeli company called Autonomo. Valens makes chips that offers connectivity of one gigabyte a second. Rosenberger's expertise is in Ethernet connectors, and Autonomo has developed the method to commonize car data from different automakers so that data can be monetized. Delphi has already established itself as a leader in autonomous technology, and these next steps ensure that the company will play a major role as the auto industry transitions into a new mobility model. In the American market, at least, diesel engines are selling just fine. And that's coming up next. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Borg Warner, propulsion solutions that support a clean, energy efficient world. Despite all the negative news about diesel engines, what with the VW cheating scandal and European cities wanting to ban them, American pickup buyers still want to have them. Sales of diesel pickups actually increased 11% last month. Diesel engines go into about 18% of all pickups. Ram does the best job selling them, with 27% of Ram trucks equipped with a diesel. Diesel engines are typically sold as part of a package that can cost anywhere from $10,000 to $15,000. And that's the kind of number that Wall Street loves to see. Well, Ford has big plans to grow the number of green vehicles it sells in China. By 2025, 70% of its lineup will be electrified to some degree. As part of that plan, it will build plug-in versions of the Mondeo next year in China. And by 2020, it will start manufacturing electrified powertrains in the country. In five years, Ford will introduce a dedicated BEV that will be from the U.S., meaning it's going to be hit with the 25% import tariff. Ken Washington, the VP of Research and Advanced Engineering at Ford, says it will have a no-excuses 300-mile range. Despite China's interest in mandating electric cars, automakers are asking the government to back off because not enough customers are buying them. And hey, don't forget to join us this afternoon for AutoLine After Hours when we go live with Michael Bryan, the head of product planning for Hyundai Motor America. If you've got questions on where Hyundai sees the market going, shoot an email to viewermail at autoline.tv. Then join John and Gary for some of the best insights into the automotive industry. Coming up next, we're going to show you a radically different idea on how to make batteries for cars. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. 
There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. We've seen several attempts at swappable EV battery packs that have failed, but a new startup has a fresh approach. Tank 2 has developed an egg-like module that houses a lithium-ion cell and a processing unit. The eggs are stored in a tank, and the processing unit maps out the best path to link the cells together into what's called a string battery. They can be recharged by plugging in like a normal EV, or the eggs can be pumped into and out of the tank through an air delivery system, which takes about three minutes. You could even just fill up a quarter of a tank if you only need enough juice to get to work. Tank 2 is currently in the testing stages, so we'll have to wait and see if this new idea is any better than previous battery swapping solutions. Every parent knows one of the best ways to get a crying baby to sleep is to take it for a car ride. And now Ford is working to bring that experience inside your home. It's created a pilot program for a baby cot or bassinet that simulates riding in a car. A parent first uses an app to record their car driving around, and then the sounds can be played through a speaker in the cot. The bottom also moves around to simulate driving down the road, and it's rimmed with LED lighting to mimic street lights. You know, I think this is a great idea, and you just know sleepless parents would be willing to shell out some big bucks. The only thing that I think is missing is some sort of system for strapping the baby down. I think one reason why babies fall asleep so fast in a car is because they can't fidget around in their seat. And I ought to know, I've got two of them. But anyway, that brings us to the end of today's report. Thank you for watching, and please join us again tomorrow.